So if you're rendering something like this in PhotoView 360, which is three thin cylinders of glass, at the maximum setting, you're going to run into the refraction limit. So if I look at my preview, I have my preview set to better. And the number of refractions that it can handle is 8. Once it passes that limit of 8, the area is going to turn black because it can no longer render past that. If you look into the photo view options, you'll see for the render quality settings, you can see what the limits are and how they're set up. So this video will go into a quick workaround to allow for a larger number of refraction samples. You can also use the same method to change any of these categories. So when I do render this out on the maximum setting, I end up with something that looks like this. So I still have an area that can't be rendered properly because we've reached the refraction limit. So the first thing I would do to change this would be first to close out of SOLIDWORKS. In this case I'm going to go ahead and leave it open because I'm not actually going to change the setting but just indicate where it is. So we want to go to this folder wherever SOLIDWORKS is installed and then photo view and down this path. So I just want to go ahead and find that SOLIDWORKS install folder and then come into photo view, the extra folder and scripts and we have a PV set quality file and I can go ahead and open it with notepad or any text editor to change these settings. You'll notice the settings go from good to maximum and all of the values are indicated here. You probably don't want to touch any of these other settings. You can play around with them a bit, but if you do, make sure you save out a copy of this file so that you have something to replace it with. So if I look into my maximum, I can see that reflection depth as well as refraction depth. And this by default is set to 11. You'll notice on good it's 5, which allows for 4 refractions. For better and best, it's 9, which allows for 8 refractions. And for the maximum, it's 11, which allows for 10 refractions. So in this case, I only have two more refractions that I need. I have a maximum of 12 in my model. So I can set this to 13 and get those 12 refractions. You can also change the number of indirect rays and reflected rays as well. And you can see at the top the anti-aliasing samples. So I had already saved this out as 13 so I could do the render. Once again, you don't want to save this while you have SOLIDWORKS open. You want to close SOLIDWORKS out before you do that. And the resulting render allows for all of those refractions. So if you run into any of those limits, that's how you would go about changing those for photo view. Once again, do save out a copy of that file and be very careful about what you modify because you might break a certain setting for photo view and then not be able to use it, which you'd have to go back in and reinstall photo view to fix the problem or find a copy of the file elsewhere. But that's how you can change the refraction depth in photo view.